This morning we begin a series on medical miracles with a look at a remarkable pill that's helping women near the end of their childbearing years have babies. Joyce and Alan were committed to having a child, but Joyce was told her biological clock was ticking. My body was aging faster than my biological age, so even though I was only 37, it was behaving more like a 41-year-old. Doctors at the Center for Human Reproduction in New York City told Joyce older women undergoing in vitro fertilization were getting remarkable results with a supplement called DHEA. It's a substance produced by the body that turns into male and female hormones. As people age, the level of DHEA decreases, and some believe a supplemental boost of DHEA may energize the eggs of older women. It is in the process of revolutionizing infertility care for older women and uh, for younger women with premature aging ovaries. The newness of it was really the only con from our perspective. So uh, we were both very much in favor of trying it. Joyce began taking 75 milligrams of DHEA a day and got pregnant after her third IVF treatment. Justin is now a healthy two-year-old. He's one of 60 babies born to more than 400 patients who've tried DHEA. Doctors say this success rate would not have been possible without the determination of another patient, 47-year-old Dwin Harbin. Over four years ago, Dwin did an IVF cycle with donor sperm in hopes of being a single mother. I produced only one egg, and the chances of that one egg at my age being viable um, were not great. Dr. Norbert Gleicher discouraged her from trying again, but Dwin would not give up. Doing research on the internet, she found a small study that reported IVF patients taking DHEA produced twice the number of eggs. She bought DHEA over the counter without her doctor's knowledge and tried it. Her egg production increased after each cycle. I was beginning to realize that I actually was onto something here. And uh, so I made an appointment with Dr. Gleischer and I went into his office and confessed. We were kind of astonished because this woman, who at that point was beyond age 43, should get worse. She shouldn't get better. And yet, uh, every month, she produced more eggs, more embryos. Dr. Gleiher published her results as the first DHEA case study in the world for fertility. After nine IVF cycles, Dwin has produced a total of 60 embryos, which have been frozen. I haven't, you know, tried to have a baby yet, so I'm, you know, I can't produce the evidence, but uh, fortunately there are other people who have. In fact, further studies show that DHEA can improve the number and quality of a woman's eggs and embryos, increase spontaneous pregnancies, and reduce the number of miscarriages by half. But not everyone is convinced. If women take it over a long period of time, let's say longer than a year, particularly at high doses, they could get some, you know, male hormone effects like uh, facial hair and maybe a deepening of the voice. <laughs> As for Joyce, she didn't have any side effects, and both she and her husband are grateful for this new fertility treatment. I think that people ought to give serious consideration to it. There's no answer one way or the other, but it's important, I think, for people to hear the data, and I guess we're one positive case. All right. Joining us now is Dr. Fred Lachardi of New York University Fertility Center. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Good morning. Tell me about this. Is this a last resort or something you should try right off the bat? Well, I think the worst thing that a woman could do is trying to get pregnant is to run into a pharmacy, get on DHEA, and not seek the help of a doctor at the same time. So definitely don't go over the counter like Dwin did initially. That is correct. But which women should take it with the help of their doctor? Well, it seems that it helps people. It may help people. The questions are, the questions are there, but it may help people who have trouble producing eggs. So this might be the group of people who benefit most. DHEA, I know, is prohibited in sporting. Is, is, is that because it's a steroid? Well, it is a steroid. So women who have breast cancer or other types of cancer should not be on this drug. And over long periods of time, it can have some of the same effects that professional athletes might get from being on a steroid hormone. Do you use this in your practice? Uh, I currently do not. I think the research is great. The studies so far really are, many of them are questionable, but I'm keeping my eyes and ears open. And if it turns out to be something good, I'm all for it. So generally, what would you say to, to women who have lost hope? It's the same message. Don't lose time. If you are having trouble becoming pregnant, 
get to someone who has a good pregnancy rate, a well-known physician as soon as you can, and then everything else will take care of itself. Bring this up with your doctor, discuss it with, their doc with your doctor, and if both you and your doctor feel it's something that you should be on, then by all means, it may not be a bad idea. Dr. Fred Lachardi, thank you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate your time.